situation here, and I think we're in for a great match. We are. Gunawadeen whips out the hand pass, not got the kick forward. Phillips on the snap, and he's decked after he had the kick. But it's out on the fall, so the kick will come back. Phillips will have another shot at goal. No score, but a good move out of the centre from the Vale through. Dennis Knight, who was a very good player for them. Yes, yeah, Simon Clark, along with Knight, Goldberg and Scurra, form a very ominous uh, centre bounce trio of players. And there's the Wizard. Well, is, did he have that uh, goatee last week? Yes, he was a fine performer when yep. he came on early in that first term off interchange. Yes, when Karras okay, was Craig. injured. So, right, Craig right Phillips. Get hoping to put a major on the board for the Vales. It looks like he's done it. The Wizard, as he's known, gets the Vales off to a great start. The first major inside a minute. Um, uh, 55 as he runs around the mark. It's a high ball. Trewella again gets the fist to it. Oh, kicked out of the pack. It's a goal to Springvale. Jeffs. Yes, That's Jeffs. Number 30. Well, he kicked five last week. Clark is playing as a virtually a permanent forward pocket player. He never kicked beyond three goals in his career, in a career game. And this occasion, he's in amongst it again. And look at that. Under the boot, quick as a flash. And will he be in for, a, will he be in for another purple patch day kicker? Well, I suspect so, Philip. Anticipating Sutherland. Straight down the middle. Gunawadeen, got a push, no free. Dyson holding with quick hands to Phillips for number two. Yes, I think, right on the yes, line. it's a big one. Craig Phillips gets a quick reply for the Vales, and he's kicked their only two goals. Beautiful mark, well out, goes for the hand pass. No, faked it. He decides to kick long Markrov and Schmidt, and uh, there's going to be a free kicker that's going to Markrov. Well, uh, I, I don't know, that was a bit ticky touch. It's a very soft decision, that, you know, two players contesting for the ball, there wasn't anything in that. Yeah. We might just have a different angle there, there. well, yeah. He was initially over the shoulder, but from our view, didn't it? Didn't look there. Yeah, no, we're both. I can safely nominate that that's a goal. I'll get one right, so Paran's first goal on the board. Fluttering in the breeze. Schmidt. Going to the uh, eastern side, the defensive side, really. Or oh, chance there for uh, Chapel, was it? Uh, Min Winton, a nice knock on. Chance for Stanley. Hand pass uh, out. Here's a goal coming up for Peran, and that is Parsons, uh, Parsons who's been in defence, has snuck up into that half forward line where he likes to kick a goal, and Scott Parsons has put through uh, Peran second. So they're keeping in touch. Clark over the top, but it's bowls and for uh, Paran, but his kick uh, was smothered. Sinny will come in and kick a goal right on the uh, quarter time because uh, about 30 minutes have gone. And uh, in fact, just a tick over 30, 30 and a half minutes. So that was a timely, uh, a timely goal there for the two Blues. They're still in it, Sam. Yes, there's no doubt about this. And they're in front, in fact. Well, this was just a uh, read the play very well, Michael Sinny there coming off the. Uh, the ruck contest. Glasso, the spoil, Gunawadeen coming in for the Vales. Halfen, Knight, and Halfen got a push, said the umpire. Umpire Allen. Wonderful yeah. duel, that Halfen and Chapel. Phillips in space, well inside 50. Yes, and with that uh, gentle northerly at his back, he'll have well no within. trouble getting the distance, Kegger. No, well within his range, I suspect, Phil. And he knows it. He's kicked two goals in his fifth possession. Known as the Wizard, Eric Phillips, good player. It's off the right side of the boot. But good oh, enough. He's in. Three goals to Craig Phillips. And the Vales back in front. <laughs> Up goes Smith against Ora Glasso. Lennox. Now, Scarra on his non preferred foot. That's better. And the Vales kick away to a 10-point lead now through Paul Scarra. Forward line, Chapel has it. Great captain's game, Wilson the target. Perhaps took it a little too easily. Oh, kicked off the ground there by Kuypers. Bolson with it now for Brown. This looks danger dangerous. Markov, fist away by Smith. Down is Wooten if he can pick it up. Gives it, he could give it across to Ahmed. He does now. Now Ahmed can come through and chip it in for a goal. Well, I thought Paran were going to fiddle around and lose that, but they eventually got the six points. Well, it's riddled with mistakes, Phil, isn't it? A lot of handling mistakes made on both sides, and 
Well, on that occasion, Pran had the better of it, I guess. I tell you what, the big bloke, Brian Winton, didn't want to take the <laughs> kick at goal either. He was as keen as mustard to get rid of it. Turned out as a goal. And Ahmed's working hard. Yes. And uh, Robert well. Bowles and doing well in the forward pocket. Richard Chappell really keeping the two blues alive. Oh, my word across midfield. Great captain's game. Jeffs, the play on. Sinny and Jeffs. Oh, coming through there was uh, Kylie. The courageous Michael Jeffs. In the ever. Jeffs uh, gets the invitation to play on. Helfen's uh, drifted down from the wing and is just on 50. Yes. So we'll see what uh, he can do. What sort of a kick is he? Good kick. 11 Just possessions. Little test him. Bit of 19 breeze, possessions, though. actually. 19? Yes. Oh, him and Chapel have had a super duel. So Helfen runs hard at the ball and oh, kicks oh, long, oh, and he's right, put oh. it through. Oh, that's a magnificent goal. That's Marty Helfen's first. Well, I tipped that. You did, Phil. Marty Helfen. That's the effect on the game that he did last Come week. Get so Clark, Clark through the middle. Strong mark by uh, Dyson Holland. Kicks wide. Oh, this looks dangerous. Oh, just couldn't uh, hang on to it. Uh, could Phillips, but uh, the ball there as um, oh, it comes out to uh, oh, Goodwin. And Goodwin has put it through. Well, that's the most impressive passage of play for the entire match. They worked the ball from the fence, linked up beautifully throughout. I looked at one stage, they might have squandered it here. We see that Phillips struggled, but he. Unload the handball to Goldberg. Goldberg onto Jeffs. Smith, the hand pass out to Gunawardine. He's been looking for that one kicker, hasn't he? Yeah. Oh, it's Tudnam and uh, Gunawardine, a bit of a clash. Yes. To separate them is Truella and Phillips. And Smith play back underway. That was Markrov over the back. Uh, Ahmed playing for the free kick as Knight grabs him, but he breaks the tackle, goes over the top to Sydney. Peacock is there to put pressure on Sydney, but Sydney, clever play to keep it into Kuypers. Over to Stanley, off the left boot. Is it going through for a goal? It is. Well, Paran doing something positive for you, Sam. Well, I was somewhat fortunate goal because I suspect that ball was over the line uh, on the boundary line. I don't know whether the viewers would have seen it. Oh, I reckon it was too, Sam. But uh, oh, despite that, Sydney did very well keeping it in play. Kuyper did equally as well, farming the ball out to Stanley. And he's got a very, very trusty left foot, has uh, Stanley. Back it goes to Joe Ahmad. <laughs> Parsons one out in the square, if they can get it quickly to him. A short's been seen instead to Stanley. Oh, go for home, son. Can he get his second in the term? Parsons. Yes. Yes. Darren Stanley. He's got two in five minutes. Well, the running players, they need them involved. And... Darren Stanley has certainly given them a lift, and I don't know what you think, Phil, but, you know, Smith dropped the sitter of a mark virtually, something yeah. that he should have held, and the rebound took place and, you know, penalised them, you know, a goal against them. Five points favouring Springvale. Witten gets the tap out, Sydney will run under it. The whistle has been blown for a free kick advantage. Play to Sydney has a look over the shoulder, and a beautiful pass finds a Parsons. Well, this oh, now I know where he plays, full forward. <laughs> well, yes. he's... He's a very, very good full forward. He's a tremendous lead. Tremendous pace, good acceleration. He's a wonderful kick for goal, too. He'll worry Smith. Smith, I should say. Scott Parsons kicks and uh, G. Parana on fire. It's three goals in three minutes. That makes you wonder, too, whether Brian Taylor heard in some of the moves, the pre-match moves. They look a bit better now with Parsons back in attack. And they're using Mark the ball. Mark off the centre half, yeah, using the ball better. And this is what Parsons is great at. Well, he's very good above his head too, but he's very good on a lead. Then, but uh, didn't have anybody uh, leading for him, so he goes in looking for Scarra. Shocking kick. This will allow uh, the two Blues to come in now. Ahmed, who has really lifted his work late, right to Lennox, but uh, tried to do too much for it. Kuypert now can get the hand pass out to Stanley, who shoots for goal. Super boot. He's put it through for another one. Well, he's had a purple patch, Stanley, Philip. He sure has, Sam, and it's nothing better than copping a handball like that on your left side. The big sticks in front of you are nice and open. Good play, Tommy Kuypert. Sets it up lovely. Yeah, he's got involved. The creative players of Prana got a little bit more involved in this term. The likes of Kuiper in particular. You know, farming the ball out. 
Yeah, Morgan was a bit late and over the shoulder as umpire Alan said. Looks a bit tired, Paul Scarra. Over Maloney's head. Parsons and Ledwell feeds it to Sinney, who broke clear with pace and strength. Dribbles a goal, and that's a goal from the Never Western medalists. And five goals in 11 and a half minutes to Paran, and they're right on top. Well, it's just classic football by Paran, and it's amazing, Ross, when you control the ball and use the ball effectively, how your fortunes do soar. And this is a very intelligent kick by Sinney. Oh, through the umpire's knew, legs. Knew exactly what he was doing. But yeah, when you're talking, you bring up a topic of pace, Phil. When you control the ball, it's amazing how you look a lot quicker, don't you? Yes, sure. As opposed to chasing tails. Well, what uh, can we do here? Good win, but his uh, kick wasn't, uh, didn't go too far. They're really struggling. Here's a chance now for uh, Springvale through Dyson Holland, uh, and it's a goal. Well, we better just wait on that one. Well, they had to fight hard for it, and the perseverance um, came good. And there's a the goal, so the Vales are still there. Tell you what, though, Clark, there's a few Paran defenders who weren't too happy about that decision. Well, might get a bit of a peep here. Well, you better judge. <laughs> you can't tell from that. <laughs> Tall's position, that isn't he key? Yeah, but the, that's right. The Paran defence is on top, so no need for Seclina at this stage. Inboard from Scarra to Peacock. Kick. To Dyson Holland. Jeff's his space. Beats Lucas. Heads goalward. Great, Great effort, goal. Michael Jeffs. And Springvale is not dead. They're back within two points. Well, you've got to admire them. They just oh, never denied. You know, they seemingly looked down the barrel ten minutes ago when Peran had opened up a 14-point lead. But one thing we've always said all along, you admire the resolve of this side and the mental constitution of its charges. And this guy, I believe, epitomises what Springvale is all about more than any other player. You know, that is you know, really inspirational stuff. They worked the ball out of defence very methodically, Phil, linked up beautifully in midfield, and that is a classic goal. Well, and there was a push in the back there to uh, Goodwin. That was a lot better getting in front and really believed in his mind that he could have got that possession. Uh, Good. Dewing puts it up there for Smith, but once again he's got to beat two players. Oh, he's marked it. He's marked it. Off the hand well, of who? Well, I thought he missed that. Well, I had it. So would I, Phil. How yeah, he got it, I don't know, but he came down with it. Well, there it is in replay. Oh, oh, well, yes. <laughs> yeah, we know how he got it. <laughs> oh, what's for the question I asked? <laughs> well, you didn't want me answers straight away. I've got we ten sets of eyes. <laughs> well, um... He had a very nervous shot for goal uh, before, but uh, he's got the same kicking style, just jabs at it, but he's put it through, and the Springvale fans have come to life. Because they're in front by well, two points, Sam. Game of fluctuating fortunes right here. We see it on screen. Oh, well, just a hand, I would Gross. say, from Chihuahua. Just a hand, but a lucky break, you yes. say. Well, they deserve it of a lucky break when you consider the... The easy, the handling mistakes they've made. The... Will you say that if it's a point the difference at the end of the game, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> With that turn. Oh, there's a lot to admire about this side. 31 oh. minutes gone. Thumped by Clark. Goldberg. Saw Scarra. Maybe another one. Maybe a fourth. Dyson Holland steadies. Dyson Holland goals. goals. Magnificent play, Springvale. Eight points the lead. Tremendous. And look at the Springvale bench. Simon Clark at the centre bounce. Beautiful handle there from Scarra. Over to Dyson Holland, and he made an absolute scene. There's Scarra, fantastic handball. Dyson Holland just lopes into it. Straight about this up kick, Philip. Under the right foot, and he puts <laughs> it right through, Sammy. Philip, this has been one of the best quarters of football we've seen for a Tremendous. long, long while. Paran had all the running early, and this young Springvale side have had to weather the storm, and they've done it with. And to think they've done it in a final. Tremendous. This Blake at the centre bounce. Control. He is very instructive. Now Markov is the lead. Kick won't quite get there. Here comes Markov though. Sinny being good. Parsons spat out the uh, mouth guard and heads for goal. 
and gets it. Back to within two points are the two blues. Parsons runs back. Sinny picks up his mouth guard and says, well done. But there, uh, if you couldn't uh, mark and chew gum or run and chew gum at the same time, there it goes, the mouth guard. He can certainly kick goals. Oh, he's a wonderful, wonderful shot for goal, Scott Parsons. And that is a difficult goal in these conditions. 50 metre penalty. Irving centres it, looking for Smith. He hasn't been able to take many grabs. That hit him on the head. Dyson Holland was roving. Fought on pretty well, Sasha. Gives it to Fogarty. In turn to Gunawadeen. Outside him is Knight. Recovery and from Dennis Knight. Goal. On the deck three minutes ago. Up and kicks a goal. Great football, Springvale. Terrific handball. I think it was Dyson Holland that started it. Gunawadeen and on the night and to kick the goal from the angle at such a critical time in the game after being down in the centre of the ground, Dennis Knight. Terrific play, this. Over she goes. In Fogarty. Fogarty. Gunna finishes Wadeen. up. Look at that. Not much uh, room there to put the ball through. Plenty in this game. Talented Ruck Rover, centre man. Oh. Smith a bit early. Oraglasso won up. There's Knight. Gee, if Bernie Shee asks to the left, he's certainly got it. Loose ball, good tackle, Gunawadeen on Tudnam. Scurra, he's a foot. left footer. From the angle, he's got it! And that's a 15-point lead to the Vales after eight minutes of the final term. And Gunawadeen, Sam, the tackle was superb. Terrific. Hasn't been in the game a lot, Keith Gunawadeen, but he laid a superb tackle, and the ball comes free. There's the tackle. Great tackle. And Scurra, who's a superb kick on the left foot, Skirts around and through she goes. And throw in. Clark again, number 24. Scurra runs onto it. Chapel oh, tries this ball. Scurra, magnificent hand pass to Coop. Coop shoots for goal. And it's through, I think. We'll wait on the umpire. Yes. That is. Dougie Coop. Beautiful football then by uh, Springvale. Give us quick two. hands. 22 possessions for Doug Coop. Yeah. Was this good play by Scurra, yeah. Sam? To keep it flowing and then flick it out. And Coop there, long okay. way out, and you'll see it here. A perfect view with the camera, just over the line. And the goal umpire right on the line there. Johnny on the spot, yes. Sam. Back there, Povey. Hooks it round the corner. And a mark by Darren Stanley. Did a lot better in the second half, Stanley, after a very quiet first half. And uh, Stanley trying to open up play, looking there for uh, Lennox, but eventually it's Probert kicking forward, and the good mark has been taken by that man, Parsons. Worked very hard, Scott Parsons. Not much on him, really, is there? Oh, he's deceptively strong, he? yeah. good upper body strength. So Parsons, 23rd possession, and is he made good? He has. Well, that's four goals to Scott Parsons. The second half, well, three in the second half, and one that first quarter when he streamed down from half back. And he's certainly uh, one player that can hold his head up high. Well, he need three goals to win it, Sam. Still time. 25 minutes gone. Yeah. Well, they kicked three in a couple of minutes. So it's, it is possible. Springvale. He's had a run of Maloney on this occasion. Winton. And there's a chance for the two Blues. Lennox. Tottenham's clear. Oh. Lead from Povey. Got away from Jeffs. And goal coming up for Peran. Oh, Gee, I don't know why he didn't keep going. Well, he kicks this, and there's only two goals they'll need. 28 minute mark. Povey puts it through. We're coming up. It's now 28 minutes gone, and the margin is down to 11 13 points. points, 11 points. Well, really, you know, there'd be a couple of minutes left in the game. You're only going to get the ball out of the centre square and kick a goal, and anything could happen in this game. Well, things have happened. Well, they've taken it easy, taken the foot off the accelerator, and a couple of chances, and Bernie should be a little bit worried. In the centre half forward. 11 points. Lennis goes as long as he can, but Lynch is in front, through the hands. Ahmad, tired, couldn't pick it up. Throw. Jeffs. Fogarty, and then Doug Coop. He sends it long. Irving should have held that. Markov back there with him. And Peran desperate. David Lucas. Now he's lost it. Irving to Knight. The Knight's kick is wide, but registers a score. Now that's 12 points, Philip. Two goals. I don't think they can win now. The best they can hope for is a draw. 
And then we'd have extra time. Rock off. Well. It doesn't matter. Springvale. Game winners by 12 points over Paran. And the Vales, their fairy tale run continues. They've now won 13 out of, I think, their last 16 games. Well, perhaps it's 12 out of 15. 12 out of, and 15. 12 out of 15. And they move now into the preliminary final. Simon Clark puts his hand around Richard Smith at Irving. Paran, for the second year in a row, having had a double chance, lose both finals and miss out. They must be bitterly disappointed. But after leading by just three points at quarter time, a big comeback in that third quarter by Paran when they hit the front, kicking five quick goals. Actually hit the front by uh, 14 points. Uh, but then Paran, Springvale fought back late in that third term to grab the lead and really were in control most of that last quarter. Simon Lennox disappointed. But 1-1 one -one is now how far Springvale can go. They'll play the lose of tomorrow's second semi between Werribee and Port Melbourne. They are certainly on a roll. You wouldn't want to be playing them. Yes, yeah, so they're very excited, the Springvale boys. You can see them there. 12 out of 15 games. They've won. OK, our man of the match is Dennis Knight. So a great win to Springvale. Clinker tomorrow, advanced, Ross. Yes, tomorrow's match, the second semi-final. Werribee against Port Melbourne, so tune in tomorrow. But for the moment, let's join Sports News.